Good morning, boys and girls. For our social studies lesson, we are still in our unit called Economics, People, and Money. This lesson, we will be talking about needs and wants. Our learning objective is students can explain what a need is and what a want is and the difference between the two. Needs are things that we must have in order to stay alive. So they are anything that we need to survive. That could be food, water, shelter, or a place to live, and clothing. Wants are the things that we would like to have, but don't necessarily need. For example, that could be toys, a tablet, or any other technology a bicycle, and art supplies. All of your crayons and markers and color pencils and paint are things that we would want, but not that we would need. One way to get things that we need and want is to save money to buy them. Adults work to earn money for the things they need, and kids can earn an allowance from doing chores for the things that they need. So these are ways that people can earn money to buy what they need. It is important to know that we should buy what we need before what we want. Because what we need is going to help us survive. Now I'm going to show you a Brain Pop Junior video about needs and wants. I would like for you to watch and listen to how Annie and Moby describe needs and wants. Hey Moby, what are you doing? What are you saving money for? A pony? You don't need a pony, Moby. What needs do people have? A need is something people must have to live. People need air to breathe and food to eat in order to survive. We also need water and shelter or a safe place to live. And we need clothes. <laughs> People can have different needs. Right, Moby. Communities help people meet their needs. Communities... Moby, what are you doing? What are you saving money for? A pony? You don't need a pony, Moby. What needs do people have? A need is something people must have to live. People need air to breathe and food to eat in order to survive. We also need water and shelter or a safe place to live. And we need clothes. <laughs> People can have different needs. Right, Moby. Communities help people meet their needs. Communities provide water and electricity and have hospitals and homeless shelters to help people meet their needs. You don't really need that to live, Moby. Hmm, what do people want? A want is something people would like to have. What do you want to have, Moby? You may want those things, but you don't need them to survive. 
You could definitely live without a pet monkey, Moby. Sometimes people want more than what they need. I see commercials, ads, and catalogs for cool stuff that I really want, but I know I don't need. Besides, my allowance won't cover everything I want. Hmm. How do people get what they want or need? Many people have jobs and work to earn money. Then they use the money to buy goods and services. Goods are things that people sell or buy. Shoes, bikes, computers, and groceries are all kinds of goods. A service is work that someone does for someone else. Some people offer services to fix things, or drive people places, or help people stay healthy. Producers are people who sell goods and services. Consumers are people who pay for goods and services. Sometimes people want more than what they can have, so they have to make choices. Well, I really want some ice cream. Mmm, chocolate peanut butter crunch. But I'm saving up to buy Grandpa a birthday present. I want ice cream, but I should save my money. People have to figure out what they can afford and what they need or want. Moby, maybe you should forget about the pony and save up to buy Grandpa a birthday present too. What should you get him? A pony. Now that you've learned about needs and wants and how people have different needs and how they can get what they need, it's time for your activity. I would like for you to label your paper 1 through 6. And on the numbers 1 through 6, I would like for you to write whether the picture is a need or a want. So here are the pictures. I want you to look at them and think, is this something I need to survive? Or is this an example of something that I want? And then, number seven, I would like for you to think about your own needs and wants and draw and label a picture about what is one thing that you want and one thing that you need. So this is something that is totally up to you. If you have any questions about this lesson or the activity, please let me know. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.